What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be vlogging. We had a video planned to film in the car today, but it was so loud. The rain was so heavy and it just did not work out. So if you guys saw my Instagram story, we were going to do an Assumptions About Us video, but that's not happening because we could not even film it while we were in the car. But we are here in Phoenix, so it's going to be an exciting vlog. We are traveling this weekend for the next five days. We're, we're four nights, five days. We are going to be in Phoenix. We're super excited. We're here for one of Psyche's classes. He has to do like a photo shoot thing for his worship class and then also a wedding so we're really really excited psyche brought me some ice because literally i feel like whenever i go on road trips i just don't drink because i don't want to have to go to the bathroom so much so i literally am so dehydrated so that's what he's doing right now is buying me some water he's such a gentleman my hero love him so much but i'm just chilling here on the bed there's the bathroom um, it's very 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 nice. We love our hotel room. I will have Saki come and tell you guys why he's super excited for this trip Also really quick. I know I keep doing this I just want to show you my guys my nails if you guys saw my Instagram story You'd have seen my nails already But so if you guys know me, you know that I always do square nails But this time I wanted to do these like almond shaped ones These are like super popular right now and I love them like I feel like they look so clean I think they look so feminine they're very just flattering and i love them so much so this might be my new go-to i just got like almond shape and then i have a little bit of like a uh brown color on the bottom and then like the white fringe chips so i think they look really pretty but very elegant very pretty love them do you like my nails babe yes <laughs> he likes them too i keep pointing them out did you get the waters, waters. you're amazing my actual real life hero do you want to give a hotel tour Oh, yeah. Welcome um, to our cribs. Also, we have our stuff literally just sitting out everywhere, so. Yeah. We're not normally like this. But today was a little bit of a whirlwind. We kind of just came in and, like, threw him down and went to get Yeah. I mean, we did spend, like, 11 hours and 22 minutes in a car. Yeah. So. The road trip here today was almost 12 hours. Yes. So. But we made good time, though. We did. We did make good timing. We left at, like, 7. Like, yeah. we got on the red probably at, like, 7. Yeah. Because I stopped for Starbucks. But yes, this is actually really nice. Like I love this bed. It's a king size. Show them how big it is Right, that's a king size <laughs> oh, wow. I think it's a king size, right? Yeah, this is I love big. this size of bed. It's so nice. Mm -hmm. Then we have this long mirror, which is actually really nice I love having this long mirror and then the vanity. How cute I love this mirror because it you actually see has everything. a light coming through it. Yeah. And I can actually see like when I'm shaving. It looks like you're in heaven right now. Really? You're like glowing. We are just getting cozy in bed because tomorrow we have a big day. Tell them why you are so excited. I already told them what you're, what you're doing here, the wedding and the school stuff, but tell them why yes. you're so excited. Well, because I haven't seen my friends in over a year either. Yeah. Since the Literally a year. Of the pandemic. It has legit been over a year since I have seen all of them, and yeah. I'm so stoked to see them. And been to school on campus. Yeah, that's true. I, it's been both friends and school school that i actually haven't been to in a year which is kind of weird because it's like i've been doing homework this whole year but just not on campus but i've never been doing i haven't been doing it on campus so and you've been married and i've been married tomorrow's gonna be a very very good day because we wake up we're gonna get breakfast yes we are going to get coffee okay we're getting coffee we're going to go to gcu that's where yes. he goes to school we're gonna yes. go to the campus and we're going to go have a photo shoot thing for his for the project that I'm promo for on, a project for my program and then we are going to Probably figure it out go like get lunch or something or get maybe food. hang out with some of his friends because he hasn't seen any of them maybe so. or we're all too busy doing homework i mean yeah. who knows it's still like a homework week it's not like spring break so we all got homework to do <laughs> but it's still a vacation we still got to go away so yeah i think now we're just going to read our bibles and kind of just like unwind and kind of just like relax because i feel like we've just been so tense all day from driving literally all day long so we're just going to kind of calm down i'm probably going to chug this water because i'm so dehydrated like i feel like i can't even breathe and then just go to bed it's like 11 40 right now and we need to wake up probably probably wake up at like eight o'clock so we're gonna go ahead go to bed and we'll see y'all in the morning morning <laughs> three two one Good morning. <laughs> Guess you got like five hours of sleep after a 12 hour drive. Literally guys, he was up all night long. I like woke up and he was like sitting on the couch eating. <laughs> it was not a pleasant night's sleep. I look like a guy in a truck. 
I think it was a combination of like super excitement to see everybody, extreme hunger from not really eating a ton yesterday because we were in the car so long, so you're just sitting and not actually using energy. And then like a bit of nerves almost to see everybody too. So. I was like worried. I thought he was like sick or something. I thought something was happening. No, I feel much better now after getting a few hours of sleep. And also I think I was like just major dehydrated too. Anyways, now it's like eight o'clock and we need to get ready. So I'm gonna go ahead, get ready for the day, fix this, whatever is going on with this, and I'll see y'all after that. Ta-da! I am ready, already in the car right now. Psyche actually just ran inside because I forgot my jacket inside. Well, I thought it was in the car, but apparently he brought it inside last night. So, he's getting that right now. And we're gonna go and grab some coffee, and then we have to head over to GCU, Psyche's college campus, because he has a photo shoot for a class project thing. So that's super exciting. I'm just wearing this, like, waffle net shirt. Don't know if y'all can see it. Oh, yeah, there. The little waffle net shirt. I just curled my hair, wearing these cute little earrings, and then I just have my Air Force Ones on because I love them so much. But yes, we're gonna go get some coffee, and then I think he's gonna get some food, and then we're gonna finally hit the road. I am so excited because last time I was in Phoenix was last February, and then the last time that Psyche was in Phoenix was last March. And so it's literally been basically an entire year since both of us has been here, and we're super excited. It is chilly this morning so that's why i wanted him to get my jacket but we're super super excited here he comes right now he's looking real cute today the husband of the day again getting my jacket for me Let's see if he notices you okay he does <laughs> good morning goodest of mornings <laughs> anyways now we're gonna go get some coffee some food yes get a little something something before we head out and go to the campus and we're excited. Are you excited, babe? I'm so excited. I'm so excited for you. Okay. Yay. He gets to see his friends. I'm literally ecstatic for him. And hopefully we're going to be able to get me on the campus because technically I can't go on the campus because I'm not a student and yeah. COVID and stuff. But right. we're going to we're gonna figure it out. <laughs> we're going to figure it out. All right, guys. I got my coffee. Psyche got his wrap and some water. And the people in front of us paid for us. So we did the, like... The, the little thing. train thing. Yeah. <laughs> we were like, like we were laughing because like all those videos where it's like, yeah, it's like a kindness train. It's kind of cool. And the person just, just like, like okay, cool. And like drives like, away. But yeah, no, I, I was hoping, I was like, I wonder how long it's been going on. So it was really cool. Really, really nice. But got our drinks paid for. Really excited. I got a grande ice white mocha in a venti cup with extra ice because that's my go-to. And now we're at campus. Are you so excited, babe? I am. Are you excited. nervous? I haven't seen this in literally a year. It's oh my gosh. Look really at guys. Weird. He's so excited. This is really weird. I stayed in the dorm in front of this one. All right, we're here. We're super excited. It's like he's so nervous. I'm, I'm so nervous. nervous. I don't know. I'm not like nervous, but like it's just it's like, it's like it's like. That There's potatoes in there. Really? I'm not even that hungry now because it's like it's like such an excited. He's excited. I'm so excited. And I'm probably not gonna vlog in there. I'll probably just like put some video or something, but. We're excited, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I don't want it to be like super awkward because I haven't seen these people and I've only met them like once. So <laughs> yeah, but they all love you. So yeah, matter. and you're my. Wife, Anyways, so okay. They kind of have to love you. Anyways, okay. We'll see you guys later. I'll show some clips of the recording and stuff in a minute, but we'll talk to you guys later. Yeah. <laughs> up guys not too sure the audio completely cut in this clip but I was going to say that Psyche accidentally left the trunk open in the back of the truck not my fun with story. our computers cameras drumming equipment my Bible his by everything like not just like unlocked like literally open For all the world to see for all the world to see. So that's what happened in that clip. And then I was explaining that we we're gonna go get tacos, yada, yada. You'll pick up on it here soon. But anyways, rolling on, moving on. Okay, actually, before we go get tacos while we have a break, I am going to answer a couple of the assumptions about us because I do wanna answer a couple of them because some of them are really cool. Oh, okay. Only a few of them I'm gonna do though because I do wanna go get tacos, so. Okay, the first assumption says you want animals. 
I mean, yes. Yes. I want a golden retriever so badly. I've been, ooh. She's been dying for dying one. Dying for one. We're gonna wait till we get a house eventually, but, yeah. and like more land probably. Mm -hmm. But I want one so bad, it's killing me. Literally since before we got married, I wanted a golden retriever. So, yes, we want a golden retriever. I want a golden retriever. Happy wife, happy life. Though, so. <laughs> All right, sorry, I moved it because of the light thingy. Another assumption is I assume Psyche is the more quiet, funny one. Uh, we're both not very quiet. We're both definitely outgoing. Yeah. Yeah. So, as who's the more funny one, that's definitely me. Me. 100% me. 100% me. 1000% me. One billion to the <laughs> infinity times me. <laughs> I don't yeah. know, you guys. You comment down below who's funnier. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, we're definitely not quiet. So. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we neither of us are quiet. Yeah. But he's not a quiet one. I think maybe he's more reserved in like certain crowds than I am, but overall, no, he's not quiet at all. <laughs> Someone says, I assume you want to get a dog before you have your first kid. That's interesting because we just answered the one about the dog. Yeah. I don't know. That's not like something in my head where I'm like, oh, I want a dog before a kid. Like, it's not like that specific. It's just kind of like, eh, we'll find yeah, out. We'll, we'll see figure what it out. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I honestly want a kid before a dog. Really? You think yeah, so? Yeah. Because like a kid is easier to like travel with at least. Like a kid you take everywhere, but like a dog you have to like figure out a kid only to figure out this stuff. And like, I want my kid to be raised with a dog. Yes. But it's not like, oh, I want to have to, I have to have a dog before my kid's mm -hmm. born. The next assumption says y'all never fight. There's like a couple say that y'all never get in fights. Um, I mean, yeah, we don't fight per se. We're not fighting personalities. Like I wouldn't even fight with like my friends. Though. Yeah. Disagreement, sure. We might like disagree, but we're very quick to like come out of something. Like, yeah. We're very quick to say, okay, okay. And like, I feel like we disagree. It's not like this massive disagreement. No, we it's... never, we've never disagreed on something like huge. It's more just like small things like that. What do you want for dinner? I don't know. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's more, it's much smaller things. I know? would say like, we were just talking to people in there. I would say like for us, the only thing is like, we're very good at like coming back and playing. Like if we do disagree about something, we'll like get over it really quickly. Yeah. So it's like, just like a personality. Quick forgiveness. Yeah. And the last assumption I'm going to read right now is it's easy for you to spend time with the Lord together. It's a very interesting question. Yeah. Thank you, Lexi. Usually what we'll find ourselves doing is We'll be both reading together in the same spot, but kind of doing our individual our thing. Yeah. Um, recently, we've tried doing a little bit more together, and it has been great. Like, recently, we've been, like, watching things together, and then, like, yeah. pausing it and talking Time about on, it. Or, yeah. like, I'll ask a bunch of questions, he'll ask something, and, like, we just keep going. But, like, we haven't been, like, necessarily sitting down, like, and reading things like randomly together like or, or a book together we'll read the bible together we'll pray together a lot we'll watch things together a lot but yeah i don't think it's i think it's pretty easy for us to be i mean like mm -hmm. we constantly live in a space of like with the lord so it's pretty easy for us to spend time together like with the lord yeah we'll just talk about stuff randomly. like during, throughout the day yeah. it's not just like a certain time thing it's like we're constantly yeah. like mm -hmm. talking and praying and stuff yeah anyways we're gonna go and get tacos now i just wanted to answer a couple of them because yeah. i know a lot of you guys asked some things and that i didn't want to just like not answer them so those are a few assumptions about us now we're gonna go get the tacos yeah tacos tacos please tell me just, okay. burp, 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 burp. <laughs> Our kids are gonna cringe so hard at this. Bro, look at these nachos. Look at those tacos. And look at my wife. <laughs> I'm a little nervous though because um, clearly I'm wearing a white shirt and now I have to eat these. So um, Good luck. I'm most definitely a little nervous about this. I got carne asada tacos. I'm very excited. They look lime, good. Extra lime. They Lots literally of lime. smell like authentic. Yeah, they look really good. You know. And we got some chips and salsa. Chips. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're eating now. Bye. You wanna explain where we're at? Okay, so. Oh, oh okay, we're getting serious. We are in Scottsdale. Yes. And we're about to go to a store called Baseballism, which is where I get most of my t-shirts that I own mm -hmm. because your boy played baseball for a long time, but doesn't anymore, but I still love baseball. So we're going to go to the store that's in this area and... It's so pretty. <laughs> probably my buy a phone case. I just told Psyche I was in the urge to spend money, so that's yeah. great. There's definitely like people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we both like walk out of the shop. <laughs> 
All right, y'all, he's done it. I did it. And I didn't film in there because it was very small. Y'all, he got case. the case. He got the case he wanted. Isn't it cute? It's actual baseball leather. It's really cute. Also, that's cute too. Oh, that's pretty cute. <laughs> but, so yeah. nice. It literally has like the stitching and everything. Look yep. at it. It looks so good. It with was him. definitely worth it. And then, and then, you know, mother came in clutch with the gift card. So, and so we got me a, Ooh, little, a seasonal little a seasonal spring training. Spring training shirt. Oh, look at it. Scottsdale, oh. Arizona. I have ones from the baseballism. In San Francisco, yep. and now in Scottsdale. And you got the little bag that comes oh, with yeah. them anyways. And dude, baseball's in this quality, man. They give Always you this nice give bag. You this bag. I have so many of these bags. He really does. Yeah. Anyways, he kind of went this off. This is baseballism. Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, this is baseballism. Uh, my mask is baseballism. My bag in the back that was leather one, that and was baseballism. My backpack is baseballism. Yeah, our life is baseball is <laughs> anyways now it's my turn because i want to go somewhere that i'm going to find something cute too today's kind of our day that we don't have anything planned so we're going to go yep. ahead and go to the mall the scottsdale mall he said is the largest mall on the west coast in the southwest i think the or southwest the west coast? Coast. I, it is a very large mall yeah i'm excited i i don't want to spend much money i just like I'm in the mood to just look around, you know, maybe see what there is. I don't have any money really to spend, but if there's something that like really gets me, like usually when I'm shopping around, like it takes a lot for me to actually buy something. So we'll see. Probably won't vlog in there either just because it's just way too much with like Corona and everything. But I'm going to go ahead, head to the mall. We'll see you after. I'll update you guys if I get something. If not, I'll update you too. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's Scottsdale, so hopefully it's not super expensive. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what is this? Why is my peace sign so messed up? <laughs> peace. When it's so dry in Arizona, you need a street to remind you to drink water. <laughs> drink water Boulevard. Imagine, where do you live? Oh, you know, on Drink Water Boulevard. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> drink water. Don't forget, people, in case you forgot, drink it. Update. Did not get anything at the mall. Literally nothing. We shopped in a lot of stores though. Just looked around, walked around, they're moved all, our bodies. They're all expensive stuff. They're all literally like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Prada, like literally a Tesla store. Like so much expensive stores there. Anyways, now we just got some of my favorite thing ever. If you guys are real OGs to the channel, you'll know that I love tropical smoothie so much. My order is always strawberry and banana, the Jetty Punch, add white chocolate and peanut butter. It's literally amazing. Do you like it? I do. I've never had tropical smoothie before. Oh, you've never even had tropical smoothie? Oh, it's literally the best. I was telling you how like my friends and I used to drive like 30 minutes just to get tropical smoothie and then go home and it's amazing this is the best smoothie order in the world just so you know anyways we're going back to the hotel right now because i just want to freshen up and kind of relax for a minute before we go to a little game night that psyche's friends are having we're super pumped to be able to hang out with everybody finally all together so we're really pumped but i wanted to go like recharge a little bit because i'm a little drained from that mall experience because that was just so crazy but it felt really good to get out and move our bodies and stuff and just move shop around and stuff even though I didn't even buy anything it was still fun and now we're just going to enjoy our smoothies and go to back to the hotel chill for a bit and then go to the game night I'm not too sure how much more I'm gonna film today I'm gonna vlog a little tomorrow too so stay tuned for that but not too sure if I'm gonna vlog at the game night because I don't really know anyone too well so I don't want to like be the weirdo that's like vlogging at the game night anyways I will catch up with you guys later tonight or tomorrow or one of those two things just because I just don't know if anything's gonna be super interesting. Tomorrow we might be going to a coffee shop or something to try and get some work done and I can edit this video maybe, try to upload it because I need to upload this video before Saturday. So crazy stuff happening, but I'm really pumped, excited to get it done. But I'll talk to you guys either tonight or tomorrow. Peace out. Okay, hello, everyone of the vlog. Chloe and I just got dressed, and she's fixing up her hair right now. 
we're going to, let's see what time is it. It is 11.30, so I think we're gonna go probably get coffee, and then we're going to, both of you need to run to the store for something. Yeah, I need to go to Target. Yeah, we need to go to Target real quick, and then we're gonna go to lunch at school with us, some, of our, uh, some of my friends, and then we're eventually gonna go to a coffee shop probably to do some homework. I have well, to edit and post this video that you're watching right now. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have a homework, which hopefully will get done. Hopefully. <laughs> the keyword, but you know, that senioritis really kicking in. Um, so last night we ended up just hanging out with his friends. I didn't film last night or update you guys last night. Mm -hmm. Just because it was a long night. It was very, very, very fun. It was a long night. We kind of came home and just like crashed immediately. We like really cr crashed. <laughs> I like, I took a shower and then literally. Fell yep. asleep. Yep. And yeah, we woke up this morning and now we're just going to get ready to go ahead and run some Aaron's get some coffee. Have a good day. I'm really yeah. excited. I'm very hungry. I want some coffee. This is kind of like our down day. To like yeah, this is like the day we didn't have anything planned. Yeah. So we need to like actually like Do get stuff. stuff done. Which kind of is like it's hard because we feel like we're kind of on a vacation a little bit. So, so it's, it's hard. Like, yeah. It's like ah, uh, get the yeah, gotta get your stuff done. Still, yeah. So it's like but yeah, it's okay. It'll still be good. Do you wanna show your outfit of the day? Oh yes, my outfit of the day. So brand new baseballs, I'm sure. Thanks, mom. Cute. And here's the bag. Back. Cute. American Eagle jeans, baseball belt. Got hamburger shoes. I got hamburger vans. Those are and so I, cute, guys, don't you think? And I got baseball socks. If you can't tell, I really like this. <laughs> cute, cute, cute. <laughs> I'm just wearing this shirt, like with tie dye on the sleeves and on the bottom that have uh this is from target, target yes yeah. and then this jean jacket which is from target and then i still have to do my hair a little bit because it's a little bit messy but i'll probably wear like my air force ones or my converse Ooh, i think those air force ones would look really good yeah the air force ones probably but yes we are going to go finish getting ready and then go get some coffee she's very excited about her coffee yes i am <laughs> all right guys we're at dutch bros now the holy land <laughs> We've made it to Dutch Bros. Yeah, we don't have a Dutch Bros in the Bay Area, like, which is so unfortunate. It's like 40 minutes south. Of That's like the closest are. one where we're at. One. But literally, guys, again, if you guys were OG subscribers, you know that I worked at Dutch Bros for a while in Reading. I'm pretty sure there's like six or eight locations of Dutch Bros in Reading, which is where I went to school for the past two years. But yeah, I haven't had Dutch Bros in over a year, so I am very excited. Dutch Bros has my favorite coffee ever so if you guys are ever in somewhere that has a dutch bros get a iced kicker that is the best drink you will ever have it's irish cream and irish cream is my favorite syrup ever and most like coffee places only have irish cream like in the holiday season like starbucks only has irish cream over the holidays but dutch bros has it like year round so it's pretty amazing strawberry lemonade Ice? yes yeah gotcha and then uh, a medium ice kicker gotcha. with extra ice. Perfect. Hey, I got the kicker right here for you. Thank and then you. Thank you. Extra uh, I'm okay with that. No, thank you. Are you all set then? Thank, thank you. you. Oh my gosh, mine's literally huge. I think it's because it got extra ice. Oh. It's like, it's not like. Yeah. It's literally huge. Oh my gosh. Okay, ready? I am tiny. It literally is. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally so small compared to it. It's like half the size. Okay, ready to try it? Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Can I taste it? That's good. Refreshing. Oh yeah. That's really good. Okay, are you ready? I hope that they made this really good. Oh yeah. Oh, praise the Lord. Mmm. It's so good taste. I think he's even gonna like it, to be honest. You're, you're gonna like it. Oh! Isn't it good? Okay, that's actually good. Really? It's so good. Irish cream is legit the greatest. It's the greatest syrup oh, on I'm the really planet. Worried. We just got done with lunch, and now we are going to go to the GCU camp store so that I can get a sweatshirt, because I want a GCU sweatshirt. Gotta rep the hubs, you know? Gotta rep, gotta rep the hubs, man.
guys, as you saw in the store, I got a Grand Canyon University crew neck because I have to rep the husband. I have to support the hubs. I honestly got this because I wanted something to wear to the graduation next month when he graduates and I wanted to have something that would be like repping, repping the hub so I can scream his name. So yeah. Guys, we look so repping right now. Guess where my husband goes to school? Bet you can't guess. Arizona State University. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and close out the vlog now because we got wedding and stuff to do tomorrow. So I'm just gonna close it out now. Hope you, you guys enjoyed this video. If it was boring, sorry, but I know you guys <laughs> love vlogs and it was fun. So hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us for a day and two kind of. Two and a half. Yeah. Two. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Yeah. We love you guys so much and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>